Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here. Email or SMS, both are great ways of advertising, but which one should you prioritize? If we had an ROI fight, who will win? Email with its super low CPM or SMS with its super high open rate. Today we're gonna put them to the test and we're gonna find out which one provides the best return on investment. As always, we're gonna use a real company and a real product. So let's get started in three, two, one, yeah. All right, so we need to make this a fair fight. I just launched a new product and I'm going to advertise to all of my email subscriber lists and also all of my SMS subscriber list. Some of these subscribers are gonna be overlapping, so they will receive both email and SMS, but we will be able to see which one they clicked on and which one converted. Let's start by creating the email campaign first. So let's go to marketing, campaigns, create campaign, email, Shopify email. Super cheap, very good, I like it. All right, so our email is ready. And as always, I like to keep it simple and straight to the point. So we have new and then the design, the new product, the coupon code that it's only gonna be valid for one day. So there you have the urge to buy. And then just a little GIF showing how the product works. Then hi, the name, and then just a little bit of text, social media links and a closing statement. All right, so this is ready. So we're gonna review it, make sure that everything looks good and we're not gonna send it yet. We're gonna wait because we want to send both at the same time, the SMS and the email. We're gonna use an app called SMS Bomb. There's a lot of apps that you can use to send SMS, but you know, I just like this one because it gives me good analytics and I can track everything. So we're gonna create an SMS campaign. All right, our SMS campaign is ready. And actually it's not an SMS campaign, it's an MMS because we're adding an image, in this case, a GIF. So it's more expensive, all right, to send. It's almost like three times more expensive as sending a regular SMS, but it converts so much better than it's worth it. And this is how it works. So the site name, then the first name, it will be automatically populated. Uh, we have a new design, I hate cardio, get it 20% off. This will populate with a discount URL and then the discount code. So if they click on the URL, which will be this one, they will go directly to the product with the automatic discount. All right. And we are going to use the discount to track where the people came from. All right. So it's almost 12 PM and we have both of the campaigns ready to send. So we're going to send them at the same time. So let's first go to the email and send it. It's going to be sent to 7,325 people. Let's send this. It's going to cost zero dollars because Shopify allows you to send 10,000 emails for free. But if not, it will have cost one dollar per thousand emails. So this will have cost seven dollars. Right, let's send it now. And now let's go ahead and send the MMS campaign. So this one is going to be sent to 2,400 people and it's going to cost $124. So yeah, a lot more expensive, but let's send it. Now we're going to give it a few hours to see how both campaigns perform. And of course, this will continue to sell, you know, after a day or two, but the bulk of sales is going to be within the first five to 10 hours. So we just sent the campaign two minutes ago and you can see how already people are starting to click. All right, and you see all of these uh, weird URLs. So these are the automatic URLs that the SMS campaign creates, okay? So all of these is people that are coming from the SMS campaign. I'm gonna leave it here for a few minutes just to see how, how it performs. All right, so it's 7 p.m. So it has been seven hours since we launched these campaigns and now we're gonna check the results. Let's start with the email campaign. So one thing that I noticed here, you see how it says that it was sent at 1.15. I noticed that when I click on send, it actually took like an hour for it to start sending. I don't know why it normally sends it immediately, but well, this is what happened. So let's check out the report. 
it generated $244 in sales, and it was open almost 2,000 times with a 27% open rate. Now this is high, normally I get a lower open rate, around 15 to 20%, and it generated six orders. Now let's check the SMS campaign. So we go here to the SMS campaign. It generated $446. And it has a click-through rate of 2.69%. There is no open rate on SMS because we cannot tell if the people open the SMS, but I can tell you that almost everybody opens their text messages. So it's almost like a 100% open rate. It just doesn't say it here. And the campaign ended up costing $122 because there were some phone numbers that weren't correct. You can see here, like some phone numbers were not, you know, they fail. The results are in. The email campaign costed $7.10 and it generated $244 in sales with a return on investment of 3,341%. Now the SMS campaign costed $122 and it generated $446 in sales with an ROI of 265%. So what's the verdict? Which one won? Obviously email kicked the butt of the SMS campaign, but the SMS campaign sold more money. So in terms of ROI, email was better, but I think that you should use both and don't discriminate. You should try to build and grow your SMS and email lists, because as you can see, they both generated positive ROI. And that's the only thing that you should care about. As long as you put money in and then you get more money out, then you should continue to perform those activities. If you're curious how I grew my email and SMS list, well, it was mostly organically. I have a video right here showing you what happens when you go viral organically on different social media platforms. And I tell you how much you can sell. And of course, all these customers go to your email list and your SMS list. So check it out if you're interested. And there's also this other video that is probably of interest to you if you're into e-commerce and all of this kind of stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out.